Oh, I didn't want to leave. Oh, whatever. Yep, I did not want to leave. I was not done. Where's Tape Boy? We need Tape Boy to, you know, take care of Minita right now. Blank screen. Yep, even still the same. Yes, Sarah. Thank you. I am horrible with names. Yeah, even the inside of this place looks grand, too. If this was really a normal school, I'd be smiling by now. Like, I know Tokoyami, that's about it. <laughs> but why are we the only ones in this hotel? Oh, no. It's an uninhabited island, it can't be helped. For an uninhabited island, this hotel looks pretty well kept, and it seems electricity won't be an issue. What in the world's going on with this island? Arcade machines? This place even has an arcade machine. Isn't it great? This is sure is a grand hotel. It's like we're at an inn in the Hot Springs District or something. There's two. Okay. Three. Okay, reception desk. Reception desk. This is a reception desk, but there's nobody here. Yeah. Uh, anything else? No. There's alcohol. Drink. State your business. Well, I just want to introduce myself. Is that all right with you? An introduction. Understood. I don't mind. I'm Hajima Hinata. Nice to My meet you. Name is Peko, Peko it is nice to meet you too. The ultimate swordswoman. You and your ulus. Actually, this dignified-looking woman is known as the ultimate swordswoman. And it's hard to believe someone with a cute name like Pico Peko Yama, Peko, not Pico, Peko Peko Yama, would be so skilled with a blade. I've heard she's a kendo master, and that most adult men don't even stand a chance against her. Well, there's definitely something up with her. Her eyes are really intense. It appears. If what that rabbit said is true, we are expected to live together on this island. Yeah, you're right. It's necessary for men and women who live together to respect each other. Don't try anything inappropriate. <laughs> I would prefer not to, to kill anyone. Kill, isn't that sword on your back made of bamboo? Yes. No, it may seem impossible to kill someone with this. Um, mis a mis-aimed blow can be fatal. Well, an aimed blow can be fatal, too. I'll keep that in mind. Ah, she looks like a gamer. There's some girl playing an arcade game, and she looks completely absorbed by it. Hajime. You haven't properly introduced yourself to her either, right? Yeah, you're right. She seems really focused on her game, but I guess I should try to talk to her. Um, excuse me, I'd like to introduce myself. Hey! Chiaki! Oh, sorry, I must have been a little too focused on my game. Chiaki? Wait, wait, wait. No, I was thinking Chihiro. A little, are you sure about that? Let's see, alright, introductions, got it. I'm Chiaki Nanami, the ultimate gamer. Video games are my hobby, and I'm a fan of all genres. Nice to meet you. The ultimate gamer. I'm Hijama. Hijam. Hi, I'm Hinata. Nice to meet you too. Yep. Yeah, totally. Seems like this conversation is going rather slow. Well, she is gaming right now. Well? It's more like I'm the kind of person who has to gather my thoughts before I can start talking. Like I can't talk that well unless I've already prepared everything I want to say in my head, especially when I'm meeting new people. Well. If I get used to them, I can usually talk a little faster. She's still focused on her game, and she hasn't looked at me at all. She may be the ultimate gamer, but how can she play video games at a time like this? Sleepy. Sleepy. She is an adorable little girl. Oh, shit. Did I just go to the restaurant? No, I did not. Cool. Ah, so I can look at things. Alright, looks like we found everything we can here. To the next area! 
I'm going to forget every time. I cannot pronunciate words very well. Alright, another quick lap around the island. Oh wait, we gotta clean up our animal shit. Wait, why is her despair meter up? Oh shit! I don't understand! I don't understand! I'm going to call him Hinata! Why is the despair meter up? Please explicar! I don't have presents! I don't have Monokuma coins! This looks like a ranch, though there aren't any animals around. Aw, right? you found it out! You again, seriously! Where do you keep coming from? I... I can show up anywhere, anytime! The system allows me to appear anywhere on the island. It's all thanks to this handy dandy magic stick! Magic stick, huh? She's talking about that toy she's holding. Still, I am, a quite, I'm, I am quite troubled. A ranch without any moo cows is like a soccer team without any balls. You might want to rephrase that. Alrighty. Alrighty, just leave it to me and my handy dandy magic stick. A huge success. <laughs> What was all that just now? A chicken changed into a cow? No, it's probably some sort of trick or illusion. I bet it was set up before we got here. She's probably trying to make us happy, but I guess I had the opposite effect on you, Hajime. A trick? An illusion? Well, if you think rationally, it makes sense. Chicken can't just turn into a cow. Messing with living things like that is just not cool, you know. Why is there a toucan? Toucan Sam, where are my fruit loops? Tropical bird, that's what I should call it, right? I have no idea what's going on anymore. Usami Corral, huh? Yes, it's the ranch. That's the despair? How can that rabbit own a ranch in the first place? Well, I shouldn't think too hard about it anyway. Based on appearances, look just like a regular run-of-the-mill cow. What kind of trick is changing a chicken into a cow anyway? Just as I thought, a blank screen. It doesn't look like normal tail of it. And yeah. Anything over here? Alright, let's talk to the Hina clone. Yo. Hey, who are you dudes? It's nice to finally meet you. I'm Hajima Hinata. Gotcha, and who's this other dude? What? Huh, haven't we already met? <laughs> oh, haha, -ha, I'm sorry. I pretty much suck at remembering names. I've met so many interesting characters today. I'm Nagita Komeda. If you can, please don't forget my name again. Yo, the, Yo, name's the name Akane Owari. Nice to meet ya. Ultimate Gymnast. That's kind of close. Ultimate gymnast, ultimate swimmer. Mm, whatever. Well, Kane is known as the ultimate gymnast and an all-around super athlete. Rumor has it she's a wild troublemaker, but her athletic ability is off the charts. However, her basics and fundamentals are all over the place, so her gymnastic routines are mostly improvised. If she's in her groove, she performs splendidly, but if she's not, she loses interest and switches it up. How self-centered. No matter how you cut it, she definitely sounds like a troublemaker. Even so, she's called the ultimate gymnast for a reason, so her performances must be amazing to see. I can't visualize her as a normal high school student. I mean, she's got the physique of an Olympic athlete. What? Huh? Don't tell me you. I oh, I get it. So you have a thing for sexy bodies, huh? You're being really loud. I know you're doing that on purpose. I knew it took a fucking shit. I just knew it. Wow, 
What's this kid doing? She's sitting down and keeps pressing her finger onto the floor with all her strength. Um, are you okay? I haven't introduced myself, right? My name's Hajime Hinata. Mm hmm? Hmm? I'm Hyoko Sayanji. Ultimate traditional dancer. She hasn't stopped pressing her finger onto the floor. Seriously, what's she doing? And her parents and voice are so young. Can't believe she's actually a high school student. Actually, Hyoko's talent has made her known as the ultimate traditional dancer. As a rookie, the Japanese dance industry expects a lot from her. She's already performed over scenes many times. Seems her performances are popular among young audiences, which is rare in the Japanese dance industry. Well, then again, her fans are mostly men. It's probably because she looks so young. Her fans probably all have the same niche or something. Hey, what exactly are you doing? Mm hmm? Hmm? I'm squishing! Squishing what? Mr. Ants! Duh! I'm squishing lots of Mr. Ants. Come again? <laughs> if you squish their tummies just right, it makes this awesome sound. Hey, you! Wanna do it together? Hell no! Aw, okay! <laughs> you wuss. This kid. Her attitude doesn't match her appearance at all. Okay. I love how the colors keep changing, though. Did the despair meter go up at all? No. One more lap, and then we will have visited the last place. Are there certain things that make the despair meter go up, or is it just something that happens? Also, what do my levels mean? Or is that explained to me later? Do those matter? I don't know what's going on. A level is a poop? I don't know. No, a level is not a poop. I don't think it is. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But it did poop again. Poop makes despair. But it has... Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll figure things out. I'm just asking questions because there's people here who know this game. Hajime. It looks like if we go across this bridge, we can reach another island not far from here. Yeah, that does seem to be the case. Is it safe? That's what we're going there to find out, right? If it's not safe when we get there, then what will you do? Okay. Found another place. Alright, first island. Now, if you remember the regulations... ...on this island. But they only told us that while on first island. This is not first island. Like I told you before, wording is super important in things like this. I see a bridge in the distance, but it looks like there's a gate blocking it. Looks like there's another island on the other side of that bridge, but it seems we can't cross it. Yeah, that seems to be the case. Clean up, poop, 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 poop. Clean up, poop, 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 poop. Well, it's about to grow again. Right? I feel like Nagito hates the fact that we're just doing fucking laps, though. Come on, Nagito, we gotta get you ready! Looks like there's... Three other islands so far? Well, I guess technically that would be five islands in total. Jabberwock Park. Hold on. We're almost up to that next level, right? Now, 140. The Jabberwockies! Pretty park. Biakuya. So, this is a park. This is. Park surrounded by the ocean. <laughs> it feels so nice! Such a laid back attitude. But if we weren't in a situation like this, I'd probably be enjoying some lazy sunbathing myself. If being the key word. How are your introductions going? I'd like to inform you of another feature. You may have already noticed, but you have a level assigned to you. 
It's displayed on the top right of your screen. The level increases by performing various actions, such as walking, examining, and talking to others. Every time you level up, you'll become stronger than you were before. The number of skills you can equip will also increase, so please try your hardest to level up. There we go! Not blank screen. It's a bronze statue of various animals, plus it's pretty huge. Amazing! Whoa, what a grand statue! Yeah, it's grand, but it's also kind of creepy. What? You think so? I think it looks splendid. I mean, look at it. It probably symbolizes the whole island. It sure is grand. This island's a symbol, huh? <laughs> Fox iron by yes. Every time I talk to him, I gain a little bit of experience. Look at that. It turns purple every time. You could literally cheese levels. All right, Biakia, yeah, let's go. What are you? This guy's presence is overwhelming. Overwhelming. He doesn't seem very approachable. Even his body is overwhelming. Ah, hey. uh, Biakia, yeah, have a time for a small introduction. Hmm. Introduction. <laughs> Come on, Hajime. Um, hello. My name is Hajime Inata. My name is Biakia Togami. Ultimate Affluent Progeny. Okay. I'm done. That's it, right? Back off. Uh, I can tell this guy is thumbing his nose at me. Well, I suppose that's Byakuya for you. What do you mean? Actually, That guy's particularly special, even by ultimate standards. He's next in line to inherit his family's massive financial conglomerate. He's already begun managing the business operations, and his net worth is, well, enormous. How admirable. It's completely accurate to call him the ultimate affluent progeny. He's the epitome of exceptional. That's like a manga origin story. <laughs> you there, Hajime, was it? Eh? Tell me, why did Hope's Peak Academy choose you? What is your ultimate talent? Um, the thing is, I honestly can't remember. What? You don't remember? <laughs> Apparently he lost his memory due to shock. He can't really remember much. <laughs> hmm, how foolish. Um, yes. I do believe we have finished talking. How much longer do you intend to stay in there? Move along! That's the only thing you skinny types are good at, it seems. Let's just leave, Hajime. Yeah, sure thing. It's building that overwhelming aura of refinement just pushes people away. Is this what it means to be the ultimate affluent progeny? I liked his other look better. He does not look good fat. Was that a school bell just now? Huh? Hajime, look at that monitor over there! Congratulations, everyone! It appears that everyone has finished collecting the hope fragments. I'm... I'm so happy! So, I've prepared a present for everyone that'll make you all very happy! I apologize for the trouble. But please gather at the beach. <laughs> May Shining Hope be with you all. Tee hee hee. Okay. What to do? She said to meet at the beach. Is that gonna be okay? I'm starting to have a bad feeling about this. What? Thinking won't solve anything. We can do that after we go to the beach. Is that precaution really enough? To be honest, I'm really worried. But it would look bad if I was the only one who didn't go. Well, Nagito's jogging with me, so, uh... I'm going to assume this is the way back. Yeah, no. So, first island. So, that was second island. No, wait. What? Hold on. I gotta check something. Does that make this fourth island right here? Did I go backwards? I didn't even realize the first time I went past that there were numbers on top of the, uh, things. Five. So there's a total of six islands. And if we go by the way this game plays, that means there's a minimum of four trials. Eight more steps until it grows up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seriously. I did more than eight steps, you son of a bitch. 
What? 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 It's not a fucking... What? Isn't it supposed to be a bunny? We're going the long way to the beach. We're gonna hatch this fucker. It's gonna be a fucking fairy. You already know. It's gonna become umami. You're gonna have your own little pet umami. Fucking Neopets. Alright. It's a fucking snake! Oh my god. Okay. Oh, I, I have no words for that. I'm just, we're gonna, okay. Okay. Such ignorance. You guys are the last to arrive. What are you dealing dallying for? <laughs> Sorry to keep y'all waiting. Danger, That's Noodle. Fun. Well, it's all right. More importantly, this is our only chance to talk between ourselves before that rabbit returns. <laughs> Let's stop. Listen. Now then, let me hear your initial impressions of this island. I happen to notice numerous blocked-off bridges on the central island. Oh. Oh, those are there so everybody doesn't get lost. I tried to cross one of them, and that rabbit showed up and told me, so I'm telling the truth. What? So we don't get lost. Is this island really so big? <laughs> But if you look at it in depth, it's just a normal island, right? It's got a resort and everything. Well, not that I've ever been to a resort before, but... Hey, hey! Also, there's a big ranch. Um... And there's also a large supermarket, too. It looks like it stocks everything from food to living amenities. Hmm. The hotel was really nice, too. It'd be great if we can stay there. <laughs> the restaurant inside the hotel was also very nice. It seemed to cater to a more plebeian taste. Hey. You guys listen to what I want to say, too. I found something very important on this island. Yeah, Girls! Very, very cute girls. Ha! <laughs> All over the place. Gross! I'm getting goosebumps. All of you are fools. I can't believe nobody has mentioned the most serious truth. Huh? The most serious truth? Not possible. No one here realized it. You're all bigger fools than I thought. Huh? What did you say, you fat bastard? Don't be talking all big and shit. Such Small dogs shouldn't bark so loud. The most serious truth. What does he mean? Do I have to talk to everybody? Can I talk to everybody? Cool. <laughs> I see, so that guy figured it out as well. Hmm, you know too? Gundam, what is it? If you wish to know, you must pay my price. After all, this world is ruled by the law of equivalent exchange. Stay back. However, is someone like you capable of offering a tribute that would satisfy a tyrant such as myself? He probably doesn't know what it is. I see. Seems everyone has explored this island, and just as Us Usami said, there seems to be no danger. Byakuya said he found something, though I wonder what it is. I wonder what Byakuya found. Since he's acting so mysterious and stuff, he probably found something big. Hehe, <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Hey, hey! You know, for being the you know what, I'm not even gonna go there. Hey, hey! If you're gonna talk to me about something boring, I'm just gonna swim, okay? Don't you? Don't just do your own thing. The zombie's coming here too. And let's hurry up, chop, chop. What a free spirit! <laughs> you should talk big. Is being an affluent progeny that big of a deal? Mm. Oh, Miki. I haven't discovered anything. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm such a useless fool. I'm sorry. She doesn't need to cry and apologize so much. Mm. <laughs> the most serious truth. And she fell asleep. To fall asleep, how can she be tired out? <laughs> Did you really call me a small dog? Wow, he's angry. I should not try to talk to him. You are right. I do not really understand what he means. Listen. Everyone, please be quiet. Ugh, I don't know why, but I feel compelled to be quiet. I guess this is what being royalty is all about. <laughs> the most serious <laughs> truth, huh? That sounds so deep. That's totally it. I have no choice but to confront Buyakasha directly to find out. 
She's already given that guy a nickname. I guess in that sense, she's pretty amazing. Pickle! However. Despite how big this island is, I cannot believe it is uninhabited. Just what in the world is going on here? I do hope this supposed truth Byakuya has found will provide us with a hint. Aww. Every time Byakuya runs his mouth, Fuyuhiko looks ready to kill him. Why do boys always have to provoke each other like that? I'm not sure I can answer that. Sheesh. That Byakuya, he sure is beating around the bush. Understand. The most important thing in the world is... Nothing is more important than a cute girl. Ugh. Hey, what's the most serious truth? Did, did you find out something about this island? Hmm. Have you all gone to the park that's across the bridge? The park with that weird bronze statue of all those creepy animals, right? Listen. When I saw it, I remembered a story I'd heard before. There's an island in the Pacific Ocean, a beautiful island paradise where summer never ends. It consists of a central island surrounded by five different islands. It's also said that five holy animals symbolize each of those surrounding islands. Eh? Listen. That island's name is Jabberwock Island. Could it be? Could this island be Jabberwock Island? Is that the name of this island? Very strange. Still, there is something on my mind. In fact, according to what I have heard, Jabberwock Island is already... Hmm. Never mind. Hold on! Hold it right there! That's a rather incomplete story you've told us. Don't I already forgot the voice I gave him. My bad. No need to shout. I'll let you know once I obtain more information. Uh, I don't care what this island's called. Nico Nico Island or Papao Island or whatever. Doesn't change the fact that we all gotta live here, right? Yahoo! Living together on this tropical island sure is exciting. I'm super looking forward to it. Right on. This ain't a bad school at all. Hey, you guys. I like it. I like this island, too. Can't say the same about the rest of you, Cretans. Ah. Uh -huh. Huh. Did I say something? Did I hear something? Okay. Mm. I can go southern. I'm still worried, but I don't feel as worried as I did earlier. The problem is, when I do accents, it bleeds into everybody else, so I'll have to actually think. <laughs> yeah, since there's no danger or inconvenience, I feel like this won't be a problem. Hey, listen to what you guys are saying. We need to stay calm and think about this. We're all here to attend Hope Speak Academy, right? But we're living on an island like this instead. No matter what, it's completely weird. Fiend. Why don't you stop talking for a while? Go cool your head off or something. Eh? To tell you the truth. B plus, even if we wanted to leave, there's no way we can. <laughs> <laughs> there's no ship, and the planes are just for show. From what I've discovered, there's no way to contact the outside world either. In conclusion, it would be impossible to call for help. Um, then why don't we just swim home? Impossible. There's no way we can swim that far. Some spirit. What? I'm you telling you, me? that's impossible. Then what if we cut down some trees and made a raft? Nah, -uh, you can't do that. That's the biggest of no-nos. Please recall the guidelines of this school. Littering is not allowed. Let us coexist with this island's bountiful nature and mutual prosperity. Got it? I want everyone to get along and live peacefully on this beautiful tropic island. What's with these rules? Who cares about that? Stop. This rabbit seems to be rather finicky about these so-called rules. Based on that, what if your actions place everyone here in danger? Th the word danger is a bit much. I wouldn't do something like that. How'd you I understand how you feel, but you need to calm down a little, okay? For now. As long as we don't do anything weird, it seems there is no danger. Yep. And as long as we gather the help fragments, we'll be able to get off this island soon. Y'all just gonna believe that. There's no other choice but to believe. For now, that is. Hey, hey. Anyway, Usami, what's this present you mentioned in your announcement earlier? Whoa. Ah, that's right. Well, of course, I didn't forget. Hi, love. love, love, this is it. Don't be upset, I prepared one for all of you, so don't worry. What is this? <laughs> it's an Usami strap. If you squeeze the tummy, it talks. I'm Usami! Magical miracle girl Usami! I'm an itty bitty girl who's sweet like milk! <laughs> Isn't it cute? Love, love! What a waste of time. Aww. Man, I got my hopes up too. <laughs> I'm ashamed I even had my hopes up. So? Really? I think it's pretty cute. Especially how the ears look like a rabbit's. Now well, Usami does mean rabbit, you know. Regardless, a large number of Usami straps ended up on the beach anyway. As I figured after everybody received their strap, they tossed they just tossed them on the beach. Hey, you can't na taint nature with trash! See, even you think they're trash. 
Misami sadly picked up the straps and looked at us with a lonely expression on her face. Ugh, I even prepared one more present too, but now I don't want to give it to you bad kids. Hmm? You have something else? Um... Well, compared to the Usami strap, it's not that big of a deal. Basically, I prepared a motive for everyone. <laughs> a motive? Hey. That's right, a motive for everyone to get along. We've come all this way to a tropical island, so I thought it'd be great to do something island-themed. <laughs> like what? Are you thinking of throwing a big party or something? Anything. Correct! Wow. Is it a festival? Or maybe a miniature shrine? How wonderful! Anyway, Excuse me, Miss Sonia. <laughs> My loins are full of poison, and I'd appreciate it if you would suck it out with your mouth. Wait! Knock it off, Teru Teru! Right. Oh, your tender loins? You betcha. That's... Just ignore him, Sonia! If we're talking about fun parties on a tropical island, maybe it should be a barbecue or something. Ah, a campfire sounds fun too! Let's kill! Let's find a hoop snake and kill it! You serious? Is looking for one not enough for you? I see! Seems everyone has different ideas, but if we're gonna be at the ocean then first... This is what it's all about! This is... A swimming bag? Blah, blah. Correct! Whoa! Then that means... That's right, I have swimsuits for everyone. Well, school swimsuits actually. I hope that's okay. Are you telling us to go swimming in a situation like this? It's not like I'm ordering you guys to swim or anything, it's just if you want to go swimming, you can. There's no way I'm going swimming. There's no way anyone would be so thoughtless as to go swimming in a situation like this. Eh. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. With weather this nice, there's no way I'm gonna pass on swimming. I agree. Even my loins agree, see? Your tender loins, I understand. Wait. Seriously, don't try to understand. Hey, hey. How long has it been since I last swam in the ocean? Alright, let's go change! Those of us who were excited to go swimming went to get their swimsuits from Usami and ran straight to the hotel to hey. change. What are you gonna do, Hajime? Hajime. I understand how you feel, and I won't force you to do anything you don't want to do. <laughs> but if you feel up for it, I'd be happy if you came along too. After you said that, Nagito ran over to the hotel as well. There's no there is no danger on this island. There's nothing tragic waiting to happen on this island. Is that really true? If so, am I actually wrong? 